Hey guys, Murphy Farms Training here. Um, playing with my Lee Load All 2. Uh, the data that came with it, you know, you got these loads. It's a one ounce load, uh, two and three quarter ounce dram equivalent 1150 FPS, three dram equivalent 1220 FPS. So they got this dram equivalence in here. And, and uh, all my life, you know, you shoot factory shells and your standard cheapo Walmart shell is a three dram shell. And uh, um, for a long time, I didn't know what a dram was, but I uh, not too long ago, I want to say a few years back, I got a hold of a muzzle-loading shotgun. And I have this antique powder measure, and it's really, really hard to read because it's old. It's over 100 years old, and on this side, it's got your shot ounces. And on this side, it's got your drams of powder, okay? And a dram of black powder is something like 35, 36, 38 grains of black powder. It's an equivalent load. And when, of course, everything went to smokeless powder, shotguns would mark off, because all of your muzzle and shotguns use a dipper like this to load. And so people knew what their favorite squirrel load, their favorite pheasant load. They knew how many drams of powder they were putting. And um, the rule of thumb with a muzzle loader with a muzzle loading shotgun, is that the powder charge and the shot charge are the same size. And so you'd set this for a three dram load, and it would be so you'd set this guy here for a three dram load, and it would whatever you set it at, you'd scoop the powder, you'd scoop the shot, you wouldn't budge it, okay, between the two. So, um, and, and you see this on here. And the other thing I've heard, um, you know, once I, I actually knew what the heck a dram was, is um, that. Most auto-loading shotguns, and some of them are exception, but a lot of auto-loading shotguns do not like anything under three and a quarter drams, okay? And so, um, looking in my Advantages Reloading Manual, I've got this chart. It's very, 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 very tiny, and I'm going to focus only on the 12-gauge part today. And so, 12-gauge goes um, from a one-ounce load up to a two and a quarter ounce load. Okay, if you can see all of that on there. So a one ounce load up to a two and a quarter ounce load. And across the top, it goes two drams, three drams, four drams, etc. Okay, uh, but it doesn't go lower than a one ounce load. And so I stared at this data and I started to notice a pattern, 980, 945, 910, uh, 1055, 1020, 1085. 1110, 1075, 1040, you know. And I noticed this pattern, and the pattern was that it went down or up 35 feet per second for every eighth of an ounce of shot change with an equivalent dram. And so I started with three drams. That's what's highlighted in orange there. And I did the math, and I found a few sources where this is verified on the internet. And so then I expanded to... Um, all the way down to two drams and all the way up to four and a half drams. And I did seven eighths of an ounce, three quarters of an ounce, and five eighths of an ounce. Now, haven't tried to cycle them in my auto loader. Don't know if a three and a half dram, uh, one and a quarter ounce load, and a three and a half dram, three quarter ounce load will both cycle semi auto. Don't know. Haven't tried it. Going to at some point, just haven't yet. But I went ahead and expanded this data. Um, for a 7 8 ounce load, a 3 quarter ounce load, and a 5 8 ounce load, because I load those. And um, so anyway, if you find this data in your Advantages manual or somewhere else, and you're interested in lighter loads, you take your published data, so a 1 and 1 8 ounce shell, 3 drams, is 1,200 feet per second. Add 35 feet per second, that's the 1 ounce 3 dram equivalent. Add 35 feet per second, that's the 7 8 ounce. Add 35 feet per second, that's the 3 quarter ounce. Add 35 feet per second, that's the 5 8 ounce. Okay? Um, so like the load that my machine set up to load right now, it is set up to load a 3 quarter ounce shell that's going 1470 FPS, roughly, according to the load data. So that's a 3 and 3 quarter dram shell, but it actually kicks about like a cheap Walmart shell. Um, so you're getting... Um, um, and it has less shot, which is the most expensive part of my shells because shot's expensive now. Um, but anyway, so if that three and three quarter dram shell 
which is loaded with way less shot than a 1 and 1 8 mount shell, would cycle a semi-auto, um, you know, then you've got a, a, a cheaper, reliable shell that will cycle a semi-auto. So, um, and it busts clays just as well as a 1 and 1, one, and one eighth ounce shot. So, anyway, just wanted to show you guys that if you've ever heard about DRAM equivalents or you wanted to see, you know, how they figured it out. So, um, so that's my story. And uh, hopefully I'll do a follow-up on this at some point where um, run a run a semi-auto with some different three and a half DRAM equivalents from three quarters of an ounce up to maybe one and one eighth or one and a quarter ounce and see if they all cycle because they're more than three DRAMs. So um, if you have any questions or you want me to send you this chart, uh, shoot me a message and I'll I'll get it to you. Have a great day.